She dress in red from head to toe, grab some cold drinks, head to Camp Randall and help cheer on the Badgers to victory. Let's go Badgers! What could be a better way to spend a Saturday? <laughs> Unfortunately, everyone else had the same idea you did. Tickets to Badger football home games have been sold out for months. That leaves plenty of people looking for a last minute way into the game. Tickets? You guys need two tickets? Who needs tickets? And there's nothing illegal about it, as long as you're selling them for face value or less. But that doesn't always happen. Oh yeah, they're selling them for $100 a piece right now. What do you think about that? It's a little outrageous, but it's a, it's a buyer's market. Whoever wants to pay that amount can pay it. And whoever wants to sell tickets for that much can get in trouble. If you're caught and uh, we cite you for it, we're going to give you a citation. The citation is only for $185.50. But the other, the other thing that happens though is your tickets can be also confiscated and held as evidence. Badger fans don't seem to have a problem with the ticket scalping. So far this year, UW police say they've received no complaints. What do you think about scalpers? Hey, they make money. <laughs> so they don't bother you? Nope, don't bother us. I don't have a problem with it. Everybody's got to make a buck. Without any complaints to follow up on, Lieutenant Larson says they focus their energy on underage drinking and crowd control. Go Bucky! But if the number of scalpers continues to increase, expect a crackdown on ticket markups. At Camp Randall Stadium, Paige Lombrecht, NBC 15 News.